Hello everyone, we are DSCI 2025 uh, on the booth of Hama and who is showcasing a new UAV, a seaplane UAV. And I am with Hashimoto who is going to speak about it. Well, Hashimoto-san, hello. Hi, um, thanks yeah. for coming. So you are head of international business development here at Hama. Uh, well, first of all, could you introduce Hama? So um, we are a UAV manufacturing company and uh, mainly specializing in fixed wing UAVs recently. Um, so one of the um, most unique products from Hama is the uh, Hamadori seaplane type UAV. Yeah, so this is a very interesting product because it has a specific uh, features. Could you detail those? Thank you. So um, the most unique part of Hamadori is um, basically it is a seaplane type UAV which takes off from water and lands on water. So um, uh, obviously it can provide maritime ISR um, using um, gimbal, EOIR gimbal, but um, as it can land on water, it can communicate with the underwater stuff like um, submarines or mines and or uh, UAVs, etc. And uh, relay the communication between underwater assets and uh, air and ground. So um, I think that's the most unique point of UAVs, uh, which cannot be achieved with the conventional UAVs. I see. So what would be the main application? You, you talked about uh, making a relay between underwater systems and land or surface uh, platform. Uh, what would be the main use cases of this system? So um, I would say it could be used in like us. Let's say we can search for these submarines or mines using some sonar or um, that kind of sensors, or um, we can um, communicate with um, allied assets, UAVs or submarines, and also we can provide real-time communication between the allied assets. So, I see. So, also, um, what is the status of this product? So, is it still in development? Or is it already operational? So um, this Hamadori 3000 is already in operation, and um, Hamadori 6, for Hamadori 6000 we have from the prototype, and for Hamadori Katamaran we are um, building a prototype, and we will fly them um, this year, later this year. So you mentioned like it was operational with a certain customer. Could you and tell us? Who is the customer? Uh, is it here in Japan or worldwide, or the world, like abroad? Okay, so um, one use case I can mention here is uh, there was a big earthquake in Japan last year in the Noto Peninsula, and um, we uh, flown Hamadori 3000 to um, see the damaged area, and um, we have assessed the. Um, situation and reported it to uh, um, Japanese police and the authorities and local governments. So um, that is the one use cases. Um, and we are actively talking with um, J, uh, J-Mod about using, utilizing Hamadori as a maritime ISR mission uh, platform. Um, and uh, we are um, looking for some conclusion, hopefully uh, within uh, this year or next year. Well, I see. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much.